Hi, I'm Kelly Ellis, VP of Global Industry Relations for Renati, here with my colleague, Mark Hill, co-director of the UK and EU for Renati. And of course, you might know him from BBC's Antiques Roadshow and currently filming its, hold on, 43rd series. 43 years of the Antiques Roadshow. I mean, it's amazing. Thousands of objects, hundreds of thousands of people, and actually even more impressive, hundreds of thousands of amazing stories and wonderful values. I'm so lucky to be able to do it. I love it. Thank you for taking time out. We know you're super busy. And we are doing expert picks for one of our partners, IACF. Super excited. They've redesigned and relaunched their online marketplace, loveantiques.com. And very soon, they will be offering website templates for their dealers, which is such a great idea, so we'll watch out for that. And I don't want to hold us up any longer because I know you've got some great things picked out, so let's go. Well, just like on the roadshow, there's so much to choose from. It's like sort of Christmas every day when you look at Love Antiques, which I just love. I always find something to love on there. Um, but we have to pick some. And the first is um, this rather fabulous, modernist, sort of almost art deco light. So it's chrome and mounted on this, this variegated marble base. And I think it just shouts design and quality to me. I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful object. And Kelly, you all well know how important lighting is to a room. It adds mood, it adds a sense, and it, adds, it can add drama, I think, as well, right? It's what we call the jewelry of the room because it sets the tone and it tells you what the design style is instantly. So this is stunning. I love this piece. Um, I love the geometric forms. So you've got this circle and then the square, which has been put on an angle to create almost like a diamond shape. And the whole thing sort of works. The base is very square and rectilinear and everything is softened by that round frame. And of course, you've got that fabulous quality Art Deco, 1930s chroming. And there's something lustrous and something really fabulous about early chrome plating. It is shiny, it does reflect the light, it does help with the, the function of the object, but there's also something really lustrous in, in the quality of that chroming itself. Inside each of those uh, geometric shapes, you've got these alternating bars of frosted and clear and plain glass rods. So of course they'll help to reflect and refract the light as well. I think it's an extremely special object. And what I love about it as well is apart from the fact that it emits light and brightens up our days and nights, it is sculptural as well. So even during the daytime when it's bright daylight and you don't need it, it actually forms a fantastic centerpiece for a table. I think it's great. And you can find it from Augustus Brandt Antiques and it will cost you 1,200 pounds. It is really stunning and I am imagining the shadows and the effect in the room that this light would create. Insane, because as designers, we think about, okay, what's it gonna look like once it's lit? You know, <laughs> that's kind of a big deal. And when you have something that actually creates interesting patterns on a wall or something like this, oh, beautiful, great pick. And my next one um, is actually related a little bit to me. You see, I do love a glass of wine, Kelly. Um, as, as you know, we've enjoyed a glass or two when you've been over to London in the past. And this will hold more than a glass or two. So what we're looking at here is um, an early 19th century decanter. So this was made around, I don't know, 1810, 1820. And it's very typical of the form and design that you would find from a decanter at that point. So this shape is sometimes known as the Prussian shape. So it's that sort of almost mallet shape to it. And you've got those three rings at the top, which start to be added around that period. And they're decorative. Here they're cut with these, these lovely facets, but they're also functional. Because once you've had a, you know, a, a glass or two, you want to be able to hold on to that um, decanter itself and the rings will help you with that. But more importantly, as I say, you can get more than a couple of glasses in here and you're gonna need those rings to hold on because this is a rare magnum size. So I like to have dinner parties and when I do, I like lots of people there. So this holds not just one, but two bottles of wine. People actually always say, well, yeah, but what's the point of a decanter? It's a hassle, it's a faff, I've got to clean it afterwards. You know what? Decanters really make a difference if you're drinking wine. And even a sort of buy one, get one free or buy two, get one free bottle of wine from a supermarket tastes so much better when you've poured it in. And there's that ceremony as well. You know, you've invited friends over there, pleased to see you um, and you're going to enjoy fabulous food that you're cooking. So there is that sense of ceremony. Put it on the table, add a couple of candles and it will positively sparkle. 
it's stunning. I love the diamond shape. Any anywhere, any place. Beautiful piece. It is, and I think for six hundred and ninety-five pounds for such a rare piece, you can buy that from Graham Smith Antiques on loveantiques.com. We all love curling up with a book. I know I do, and I'm guessing you do. You know, as the nights draw in and we get to autumn and winter, um, and it's something about being in your home and being in your nest. And I think I'd like to curl up in nothing more than um, this, this wingback armchair, which again is, is in the sort of Georgian style. It was produced in the late Victorian period. So I would have thought, you know, 1880, 1900, somewhere around there. But, you know, look at the depth of that armchair. You can curl your legs up, you could sort of snuggle into a corner, rest your head on one of the wings on the wing back sides there. And it's all sounding very sort of antique and curious. I mean, I'm imagining log fires crackling away and all the rest of it. But going back to those wings that you could rest your head on, I think those wonderful curves and lines make this a very sculptural piece of furniture. Um, lots of people tend to push, and you may disagree with me, you're the interior design professional here, push chairs back into a corner or against a wall, but I think this could stand on its own. I 100% agree with that. There's something to um, the wing back that makes it feel like you are in your own little cocoon. It's like a privacy thing, but you're still in the middle of the room with a beautiful table next to it, to your point, in front of a bookcase, and I just love those legs and feet. Tell me about those. We've got these fabulous very, very heavy and sort of characterful lion's paw feet on the bottom. I mean, just thinking about those for a moment, somebody actually had to carve that out of a block of wood. And it just goes to show the great quality. I mean, you go down to the high street or, um, you know, superstores, you try and find me a piece of furniture with wonderful characterful carved feet like that. You're not going to find it, but you will find this from Fontaine Decorative Antiques for £975. And That's it's been cool. completely sympathetically reupholstered. And that grey, I think, again, this is, you're the interior design professional, I think that grey brings it out of sort of 1880, 1900, right bang up to 2020. Yeah, I was going to say the color is perfect. Um, we know that that's a new neutral for us and has been for about 10 years. So uh, absolutely, I, I challenge anyone to, to find an interior that this won't work in. So kudos, it's a great pick. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to go a little bit more personal now. Now I'm a great believer in wearing brooches or pins as I believe you guys call them across the pond. I'm not wearing one today but I'm not wearing a jacket. Um, but I think I couldn't wear this piece of jewellery but this is a piece of jewellery that I'm really attracted to and it's a sterling silver necklace made in Denmark by Emil Hansen. And I just love the way this hangs. So I'm going to ask you as I presume a necklace wearer, the, the feel is important, right? The way a piece of jewelry hangs around your neck. For me, this feels like it's weighty and there's something about it. It's like, to your point, and you'll be able to re relate to this as if you put on a beautiful houndstooth or you put on a cashmere and you, you know what to expect with the weight. So with this piece, you know it's gonna have some weight in the coolness of the metal on your neck. I mean, there's so many things about it that you would expect. And it is something that I would 100% want to try on at the very least, if not walk out the door wearing often, because I do like something that's very statement, a very statement piece. And this I know would be stunning on. It's beautiful. Well, I think it also ties into the entire sort of Danish and Scandinavian jewellery trend that's going on right now. Lots of people are buying these very clean lined modernist pieces and we don't know too much about Emil Hansen. We know that he started his company in about 1894 um, in Odense and it closed in the 1970s, the early 1970s. So there's very little known and I think maybe that's part of the reason why for me this feels like a steal at £325 from Dansk Silver. I think that's a great piece. And it's also backed up by the fact that that look, I think, sort of harks back to ancient, ancient Egypt or there's something very ancient and, uh, and, and classic about it. Yes, there we are. That's it. But it is so rooted in mid-century modern. Um, I think it's a really stunning piece. So my next piece um, are two things, in fact, and I think a lot of people have thought in the past, or many people still think now, that, you know, antiques are these things to be revered and you have to treat them carefully. And of course you do, but you have to treat them carefully just as much as you treat anything carefully. And I think they're very functional. And these, I think, are functional and decorative and have real use that you can use again and again and again. And it's a pair of early 20th century metal and wood trunks by a company called Excelsior, 
who were a luggage company in America. I just think that the look, especially the one on top with that bold X, it just really, really makes a big statement. But staying with what's on the outside, you've got these wonderful luggage labels and the remains of where this has been. I mean, these were made to be used. So, you know, cast your mind back before we all jumped on tubes with wings and flew through the air. You get onto a boat or into, you know, a car, a motor car. And these pieces would be attached. And then, of course, when you went into your, your um, amazing liner, they would be stacked up on top of each other. Imagine the glamour, the sort of, you know, the great age of cruising in the 1910s, 20s and 30s when these were made. I mean, just wonderful things. And of course, we didn't have to worry back then about, you know, weights. I mean, every time you get on a plane, you're weighing your bag. So these things were often lavishly appointed and, and made to be really strong and sturdy. Now, I was saying functional before. And these work for me in two ways. First of all, you can stick a bit of glass on the top and use it as a coffee table. Secondly, um, and I actually sold some of the, uh, these sorts of things to a client a while ago, you can use them, I don't know, in a guest room, say, to store bedding in or something like that. Um, and then when, of course, you make the bed up, your guests can stick their stuff in there if they wish to. So they can sort of appear in different rooms and different parts of the house or else stack them up in a corner and sort of but you could lie, couldn't you? You could say, oh yeah, these were my granny. She was a, an American heiress. And this is what she used to travel from New York to Southampton or something. I think I they're just it. wonderful, evocative pieces that are decorative and functional. And it's those luggage labels I just love. Dreaming of people having cocktails in the first class lounge of a cruise liner. It says everything to me. And I love that there was a key somewhere and somebody held on to it because it held something so dear. I just, mm, I, I can we please include some kind of a box or trunk in every pick? These are wonderful things. And I would love someone to add them to their story as well. They can live again and they can add to their story. And I think for £950 for the pair from Lee Wright Antiques, I think that's you know pretty good value bearing in mind. They're, they're multifunctional and hugely decorative. This was uh, amazing. Such great picks. I think um, these are perfect examples of what loveantiques.com will uh, provide for anybody searching for some really great finds. I think, uh, I think we've got some real winners here.